Welcome to Crypto Classroom, the number one YouTube channel for learning about the latest trends in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. At Crypto Classroom, our main goal is to equip our audience with the knowledge needed to excel in the dynamic and fast-paced cryptocurrency landscape. Have you been looking for a project with tremendous potential? A crypto that you can mine even in 2022? Or are you a developer on the lookout for a solution that allows easy development and hosting for DAPs? Good news is you're watching the right video, as today, we're going to learn about a project that does all of that and more. We're going to take a close look into the world of Flux, a crypto for decentralized cloud infrastructure. Let's get to it! First off, Flux Cloud Infrastructure is designed specifically for Web 3.0. It has its own blockchain using a proof-of-work consensus model similar to Bitcoin which is why Flux is a mineable resource. We'll get more into this later in the video. Flux would be best described as an ecosystem rather than a mere crypto or project. It's a fully functional suite that hosts a wide range of services, everything that might be needed by a Web 3.0 project. At the heart of this ecosystem is Flux OS. It's operating system, a second layer system that runs on top Linux and is essential to running the Flux network. Flux OS effectively benchmarks the computational power and availability then redistributes it for running different operations like managing Flux native DAO, running and deploying other dApps, etc. Daniel Keller, the project's CSO, explained the potential of Flux OS this way. When the internet was created, the common question was, what can it be used for? When Flux OS was created, the question is, what can't it be used for? DAPs can be easily built by developers to run on Flux OS as any hardened dockerized app can be deployed by the operating system. At present, Flux is hosting more than 30 different decentralized apps with a plethora of functions from social media, data oracles, blockchain infrastructure, websites, to more fun things like games. A sample of such applications include Rustpad, Bibliography, Yaisi, and even games like Arc Survival Evolved. Terraria and Valum use resources on the Flux network but remember that this is decentralized, which means it is run by Flux nodes geographically isolated all across the world which ensures the advantages of decentralization while being available wherever you are in the globe. The best part is it's so simple. You can even name a node holder via two ways, either renting computational power through a VPS or rolling up your sleeves, hands-on method by providing your own hardware. Even home PCs can run Flux nodes and home server setups for those who prefer to have it on their own hardware. Surprisingly, Flux nodes are even optimized for running on ARM64 based hardware like Raspberry Pis and other single board computers. For those who like to tinker, it's like a dream come true as it's now possible to run Flux nodes on the Raspberry Pi cluster to earn rewards. Aside from hardware, you would need to provide a Flux collateral to operate Flux nodes. This is a safety feature to lessen bad actors from spoofing benchmarks and cheating others in built in systems. Depending on the level of hardware and collateral, Flux nodes come in three classes. The first is called Cumulus. It needs to meet a minimum hardware requirement of 2 V cores, 8 gigs of memory, 2.5 terabytes of bandwidth, and 220 gigabytes of storage with both SSD and hard drives being compatible. The needed collateral is 1000 flux earning a deterministic block reward of 7.5%. Next is the aptly named Nimbus class which requires operators to provide hardware with at least 4 V cores, 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte bandwidth of 440 gigs of storage using solid state drives only. For this class, the deterministic block reward jumps to 12.5% and the collateral is 12,500 flux. For the last class, Stratus needs a collateral of 40,000 flux, 8 V cores, 64 gigs of RAM, 880 gigabyte of storage and a minimum bandwidth of 100 MB. Cumulus and Nimbus classes are compatible with both VPS and ARM64 hardware. However, the Stratus class is only compatible with a VPS mostly to maintain consistency. With Stratus, operators stand to earn 30% deterministic block reward. At present, there are more than 2,500 Flux nodes around the world, running on more than 12,000 V cores, 40 plus terabytes of memory, and a MAM of 975 terabyte of storage. Flux even has parallel chain interoperability which bridges the gap associated with DeFi economy with its decentralized exchanges, protocols, and blockchains. Up until recently, the ecosystem has created three parallel assets and distributed them to its holders mainly on the Cadena, Ethereum, and Binance Smart Chain. Interoperability with Solana and Tron is also in the works. 
Now let's take a look at the Flux token and its tokenomics. With the maximum supply of 440 million with around 230 million in circulation, which makes their market capitalization hovering around 326 million dollars at the time of this recording. The token is mainly used for rewarding community members ensuring smooth operation. Included are GPU miners, Flux node operators, and other community members. Projects in the pipeline include the NFT and Flux package allowing developers to mint and host their favorite NFTs on the Flux ecosystem and this is set for release in quarter 1 of 2022. Also in the works is deploying parallel assets with other crypto projects like AVAX, the Polygon Network, and Cardano by quarter 3 of 2022. Soon, we will also see Flux, the first test version of its own consensus model that called Proof of Useful Work or UPOW. UPOW is slated to completely developed, tested, and launched by quarter 4 of 2022, along with the project's new Flux chain. At Crypto Classroom, we believe a fully open source, decentralized cloud infrastructure that provides computational networks has great potential to become the next AWS in Web 3.0. With a model that incentivizes token holders and node operators, Flux is fast gaining massive computational power and soon might become a mainstream brand with the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Some experienced crypto experts believe this token can go as high as $20 in the next 5 years. That's almost 20 times gain in that period of time. So what are your thoughts on Flux? Do you think it has what it takes to dominate the Web3 movement? Please feel free to comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts. We hope that you take what you learned from this video and combine it with your own research before making your decision. And remember, we are here to educate, not give out financial advice. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and smash that notification bell so that you know when we upload a new one. Until next time! See you in the next video.